How's it going everybody? Today we're going to show you how to use wintowork.com. Now you might be wondering why we're starting to use this differently from how we normally send our schedules. Because um, normally you just send me, the scheduler, an email, but what wintowork.com is going to allow you to do is to input your own class schedules, your own final schedule. It's going to allow you to submit your own time off requests and receive notifications. So a couple of the things that we can benefit from this are uh, time off requests will now be approved within 24 hours instead of one week. Um, and you can get notifications to your email or text messages when the schedule is posted or when your time off requests are approved or denied. Okay, so what are we going to learn on this video? We're going to learn how to input your weekly class schedule, how to input your final schedule, how to request time off, and how to set up notifications. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is check your work email because I should have sent you by now an invite to set up your when to work account. There you go. So the email is going to look like this, when to, your when to work .com. Probably want to copy this ID. Go to when to work .com, Hit sign in. <clears throat> go to sign in ID. And then the password, and then punch that in. Now these are just temporary, so don't worry if you don't remember it. Okay. Next, you got to set up your account. So I'm going to do my username, which I usually do, and my password, which I will not share with you, and go to the next step. Phone number. Now I know some of you might be a little iffy about sharing your phone number, but if you want the text message notifications, then you have to put your phone number in here. Okay? If you're that worried about it, you see here it says either you can allow all employees or just your manager to see your information. Leave it on just your manager. Okay? The address bars and the stuff on the bottom you don't need to worry about, so just leave it blank. And that's it. Your account's set up. So next we're going to go to my home page. <clears throat> And the first thing we're going to do is learn to input your weekly class schedule. So on the home page, you go to choose times I prefer to work. Now my screen is white, but your screen is probably going to be green and red because I've already updated some of your schedule. But for your class schedule, you hit this bottom right button, set repeating weekly preferences. Okay, Start off by putting green on all your days and times. <clears throat> okay. That means you prefer to work, so it's kind of a clean sheet. Then click this red paint roller here and start filling in your class schedules. So let's say I have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class from 9 to 10. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <clears throat> That's how you input your class. Um, one thing to note though, if you schedule like this, that means you are available for work right up until your class time. So go ahead and add yourself a 15 minute buffer. Okay, And just for good measure, we'll add a couple more here. Let's say a Tuesday, Thursday class from 12 to 2, 15 minute buffers. Oops, one too many. Next, let's say uh, I have a Tuesday evening class from 7 to 10. 15 minute buffer. Okay. So you know what the green does, you know what the red does. The white one is no preference, meaning you don't care. Um, I would prefer if you don't use that one, please stick to these three pink, green, and red. Okay. Pink means dislike working. <clears throat> so, for example, let's say you have a Tuesday night class till 10 and you would prefer not to work Wednesday morning. Well, you can use the pink roller to tell me that you don't want to work. On certain days okay now I know you're probably gonna want to take pink and just pink out this whole morning block but try not to do that really just do the mornings where you really need them okay and we're gonna make sure that it's uh, nice and fair for everyone um, I'm gonna put on Tuesdays that I also like to read right before my class so I'm gonna put that okay dislike means that you prefer not to work but it does not guarantee that you won't be working Okay, just keep that in mind. Once your schedule is all put in place and you're happy with it, go ahead and save changes. And that's it. <clears throat> Next, final schedule. 
So this was for class. When you input your final schedule, you want to set specific date preferences. Okay. Now, you, what you do is you simply double click on the day of your finals. So let's say I have a final on December 10th. I'm going to double click. I'm going to green this out because I don't have any class on finals week. And I actually have a final from 3 to 5. Okay. And on top of that, I'm going to add the 15 minute cushion and I'm going to take it one step further and add a 30 minute cushion just to make sure I get to my final on time. Okay. Save. Now, since this is finals week, you actually have to go through the whole week. <clears throat> okay. So, green. Let's say I don't have finals there. Green, I don't have finals. Let's say Thursday, I've got a final. Uh, let's say 12 to 4, 4 hour final, 30 minute buffer. <clears throat> and on the 14th, I don't have a final. Okay, so that's finals week. Um, you'll notice that blue means that the date has special hour preferences, and then the colors correspond to the paint rollers. Okay. <clears throat> Please do not take the red roller and just start doing red everywhere. Uh, because one, do not use this function as a time off request. It will be denied. Okay, there's another way you can do that. Um, and two, only the changes you make to finals week will be applied in this date specific mode. Okay, so please, for date specific, only keep it to finals week. <clears throat> when you're happy with it, you hit save changes. I'm going to change this calendar to finals week. You'll notice that my finals week is updated. On the left, it's all blue here to show that they're date specific preferences. Okay, so that's how you do your finals. Um, one thing to note about your weekly class and final schedules you won't be able to update them during the quarter, you'll only be able to update those schedules before the quarter. Okay, so I'm going to call it. Um, the availability window that's what I'm gonna call it <clears throat> your availability window is gonna open on week 9 of the previous quarter and it's gonna close on Wednesday before the first day of class so that gives you about three to four weeks to really finalize your schedule if your schedule if your availability window closes and you need to make class changes then you have to email me here and do it the old-fashioned way Next, time off requests. Let's go back to when to work. Go to home, request time off, and you'll see a calendar. Okay, It's pretty simple. Let's say you want the 11th off. You just click 11, put in a comment. Let's say day off for studying, and then you request time off. First thing you're going to notice is that the status says pending. And that's because a supervisor has to sign off on it. He can either approve or deny it. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how you do a full day request. If you need to do several days in a row, let's say for break, I want December 20th to January 2nd off. Unfortunately, you can't just put a start date and end date. You have to count the number of days and input it here. <clears throat> so 20th to the 2nd. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'll put 14 days. Okay. Oops. So in this case, I forgot to put a comment. No worries. You can always cancel your time off request. What? And then redo it. 14th. Winter break. Okay. And lastly, you can request partial days off. You can just click a day, let's say the 22nd. You can start it at, say, 2 p.m. because you have a dentist appointment and finish it at 5 p.m. Dentist appointment. Okay. Now, before a time off request, you should used to take about a week for me to get back to you. With this system, I'm going to try to get back to you within 24 hours. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how you do time off.
Lastly, notifications. You can set when to work to send you a text message or email. Um, and you do that by hitting info. Hit edit my email slash text addresses and notifications. Okay. You'll notice your email is already set up because I've inputted it. So you want to go to add new address. Okay. So then click this link right here because you need to find out your um, wireless phone carrier. So mine happens to be AT&T. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to close. I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to take where it says number. I'm going to delete it and actually put in my cell phone number. Okay. Then on the right, it's time to set the notifications. The top three, probably never going to use, so just leave those. And on the bottom, if you don't want to have to sort through each one, just check them off. You can always come back later and uncheck them if, they, if the uh, text messages get annoying. Okay. Then hit save. And if you wait a couple seconds, your phone should get a text message. Three. There you go. That was like five seconds. It's going to give you a four digit code. Mine happens to be 0916 this time. And you hit validate. And that's it. So now, anytime these things happen, you're going to get a text message to your phone. You can also come here and edit notifications to your email. Take that one off, add these. So, however you prefer. Okay? So, that's notifications. <clears throat> So that's pretty much it. I hope the tutorial was clear and concise. If you have any questions, you can always email me at scheduler at pts.uci.edu, or you can call me at 949-824-8308. All right? So hopefully that was good for you as it was good for me, and you guys have a good day.